Games are big business, but now gaming is taking a new step forward. The University of Utah is going to be the first major school to make Look at that old controller. Yep, and this is, believe me, I don't know where this video is from, but <laughs> none of these games will be part of the Varsity no. Video Gaming <laughs> Sports Program. Apparently, our file I video like system. Throwback. We haven't bought. We haven't bought a video <laughs> game system in the old file video factory in years. That's funny. So, <laughs> this new eSports, it's going to be a varsity athletic thing. Mm -hmm. We're not quite sure yet. Okay. This uh, university has one of the best video game development programs in the world, and that's where this uh, this uh, competitive league will be. Uh, housed. Uh, kids will get scholarships, partial scholarships. The goal is ultimately to have 35 students involved competing on four different games. Uh, what do you think? Video gaming as a college sport? Well, when you think of video games and you think of just the, the industry itself, it's a $23.5 billion industry. Now, video games as a sport, I had to look up the definition of sport and really think about it. So it says, an activity involving physical exertion and mm. skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. You're definitely competing against others. Yep. Yep. I would think that sometimes your heart rate does go up when you're playing those video games. Yeah. You, my brother, when might he plays video it, games, he there. gets a little sweaty sometimes. Okay. <laughs> you know? yeah. I get fired up when I play and Mario And it Kart does sure. take skill. Uh, it does take practice. This is so funny to me, but this makes a lot of sense for the university. We can laugh and say it's a sport or it's not a sport, but if there are some of the best video gamers in the country out there who are competing, and by the way, the way that this competition works, kind of like March Madness, but for video games. You yep. have a team, you're oh, competing yeah. together, you can win like $8,000 per player if you win that. So if you are one of the best video games You can game watch them on TV. Yeah. You can watch video games. I'm sure gaming. the ratings would be yeah. pretty, pretty high, pretty, too. You I will the tell best you my, players at your university? Of, of course you yeah. would. Would. And you certainly want those people within that entertainment arts and engineering program they have. But uh, the University of Utah is saying, like, you know, we, these could be kids from any major. Just like in football, you're not necessarily, oh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, sports medicine or sports management. Mm -hmm. uh, the way they do this, so there are all these kind of multiplayer online games where you can play competitive games against other people. And there have been video game competitions as long as there have been video games. You've had, you know, I'm the best Donkey Kong player in the world or Frogger or whatever but this is set up uh, honestly it's it's pretty darn similar well when you think sport. about too appealing to the masses 60 percent of u.s households have some type of electronic device that is used for playing video games sure. i bet that a lot of sports like synchronized swimming not or, a sport or polo or <laughs> figure skating not really i'm a just sport. saying like 60 percent of the population is not figure debate skating. club isn't a sport Debate team no. isn't a sport. You get heated in that one. I was you in speech team. I bet you had to wear a lot of deodorant team. during debate. I did oh. get a high school letter in speech team. Wow. Not a sport. I but lettered in theater. Maybe it's you okay. Could get a Not a sport. From that. I mean, you, you could get a scholarship. Look, this is Not good for all the parents out there. If your kids are obsessed with video games, maybe they can get a scholarship. That's good news for my, for my kids. There yes. you go.